Take that screw two. Take that AX plus two B. Oh, hey, sorry, didn't see you there. So what was that? You want to know whether you should buy a Chromebook or not? Ah, okay. Well, if you want to stick around, I can uh, give you some reasons too or not to buy one. So stick around. <laughs> Hey guys, Monty v 6 here. Today I want to give you guys a video to help you decide on whether or not you should buy a Chromebook. So off to my left here I got some good, I got a nice little list going of some good examples and scenarios of to buy one and not to buy a Chromebook. So maybe this will help you guys out in your decision. So let's go ahead and uh, move over here and we'll get started. So should you buy a Chromebook? So now we're going to get started on automatic backups so basically what that means is you know it's pretty self-explanatory but i'll break it down anything that you do on your chromebook is going to be backed up automatically to the cloud and now since we're talking about the cloud cloud storage think of it as an actual cloud up in the sky like one of those round puppy ones and all that you do on your chromebook is going to be saved to that individual cloud up in the sky and think of the sky as the internet, okay? And the cloud, the actual one that's up in the sky, or in the internet, as you can say, um, that's basically going to house all your data, okay? And no matter where you are in the world, as long as you connect to the sky, for instance, you're able to connect to that cloud and receive your data. So, I mean, it's pretty cool. So that way you don't have to worry about all your data getting lost or um, lost or, you know, erased or you can't back it up. And you don't lose anything. So, I mean, it's really good for people out there that are just kind of worried about their data. I mean, my Chromebook here, uh, since it's all saved to the cloud, um, if my Chromebook um, fails for any reason or just stops working automatically, the hard drive crashes or something, my data is still saved because it's saved up in the cloud. Now, this doesn't pertain to the Chromebook itself. It just... Because, I mean, there's other computers out there that save their data to the cloud. Google uh, is one of them, like Gmail and stuff like that. SkyDrive from Microsoft. So, uh, Google Chromebook is not the only one that has this, and that's I'm not saying that either. Going on to Google Documents now. Google Documents is basically the alternative for Google to Microsoft Office. So, what that includes is... The usual PowerPoint, um, Excel, Word, um, I think that's it. So they have Google Docs, they have Google Docs, which is Word, Google PowerPoint, or no, Google Slides, which is their PowerPoint, and then Google Spreadsheets, which is their Excel. And it does come free, so as long as you have a Google account, you can access those free of charge. And yes, Google Docs does open up Microsoft Office files. Go down to photos, videos, and etc. What's cool about this is that if you have your Google account and you use Google Photos, it saves it automatically. So once again, no matter where you are, you don't have to worry about any photo loss or you know corruption or anything like that because it saves it to the cloud. So once again, you can access that, that you know pretty pretty much anywhere. Same thing with your videos, documents, and all that other stuff. So not too much really to talk about here as far as the automatic backups. I mean, I kind of broke it down in three subcategories, but basically it's uh, you know pretty self-explanatory. So no matter where you are, as long as you have internet connection, go to Google. There's all your photos, documents, videos, and uh, all your other stuff too. Android, iOS, Windows Phone, and Chromebook. So, now, moving on. Moving on to the security of the Chromebook. Now, they have this locked down pretty good, uh, in my opinion. And they, they do have that listed up on their site. Um, their virus protection is really good. They do have multiple levels of virus protection. <clears throat> 
I have, don't get me wrong, I just read this on a forum not too long ago that Microsoft once had a, or what was it Microsoft? Well, some convention had a uh, conference where hackers were invited in and whoever could hack Chrome OS got a $3.5 million uh, reward. And so far no one was able to uh, do it. So that's what I just read. I'm not really sure if it's real or not, but it sounds like it could be to me. Okay, now going on to automatic updates. What's cool about this is, is that, you know how for Windows, and I'm not knocking on Windows either, I have uh, two Windows devices. I have my Windows phone, and I also have, which I'm recording on right now, and I also have my Windows 8 machine. So, I'm not knocking on Windows at all. Uh, automatic updates for Windows, you know how in the bottom right corner of the monitor it would say so many whatever updates are available. Click here to install and then it'll restart and install them. Well, most people just don't click that. They're like, oh, you know, I'll probably just get that later. And then all these updates are waiting, and they end up having, like, 140, 150 updates later on when they ever get to them, and it takes forever, and, you know, the list just gets longer. This automatically updates for you, no matter what you're doing. Um, you won't even know it's updating. It will be a little up arrow in the bottom right corner of the taskbar, uh, in, in a box that soon, as soon as you restart your Chromebook or shut it off and turn it back on again it'll install that for you so very very efficient on the updates don't even have to worry about it because it just does it by itself moving on to sandbox mode now what sandbox mode is is think about opening up Internet Explorer and you know how when you hit on Internet Explorer and it opens up that window think of that as the actual sandbox like what kids go outside and play in um, anything that happens within that sandbox or that window is completely protected so if you do visit visit a malicious site uh, none of your files are going to be infected except that window so you can just close that window and open up a new one and you'll be fine so something that's pretty cool uh, verified boot I believe this is the second to the last and what that means is basically every time you start up your computer, or your Chromebook actually, it, ver it verifies the whole boot process. Kind of like the post power on self test. Um, kind of similar to the uh, the Windows for all you tech guys out there. And basically it just makes sure that everything's the same as it was. Uh, make sure nothing's modified, nothing's changed, and nothing has uh, any sort of modifications done to it. And if it does find anything of that nature, then it's going to repair itself automatically. Whether or not you will see that it's repairing, I'm not really sure. I haven't had that happen to me yet. Going on to date encryption. Uh, basically, you know, basically, once again, self-explanatory. All your data is encrypted from the Chromebook all the way to the cloud. So, not much risk of... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? data, piracy, and theft. Um, what's cool about it is that once you log off and you have to type in a password to get back on again, um, if, they, if they don't have your password, they're not getting in. And they can sign in as a, in a, sorry, <laughs> they can sign in as a guest account, but anything that they do uh, will be erased once you sign back in as the administrator or, you know, the power user or whatever else, the main account holder. So that's pretty cool. Going on to recovery. Now recovery is safe if there's something wrong with your Chromebook and you think it might have an infection on it. All you would have to do is just go to settings and hit power wash and that would recover it. So basically it just wipes it out and makes it makes it look makes it like when you bought it. it doesn't touch your account, it just erases everything that's on your Chromebook. It sets it to uh, default factory settings. So I mean, I've done this numerous times, switching from certain mo modes to the basic user mode, and it reset my Chromebook, and the only thing that I lost was a bunch of um, funny pictures that I've downloaded on my hard drive, and they were wiped, of course, but everything that was on my Google account was still there. Google documents, folders, pictures, videos, photos, etc. So nothing to worry about. <laughs> now, going on to everyday use. Uh, this is this is my view and this is my opinion on this now, uh, not necessarily pertaining to what you guys would think about it. But wow, <laughs> fail. <laughs> Anyways, I'll just leave that open. Who cares? 
So going on to everyday use, the boot time. Now the boot time is absolutely amazing. Um, from a cold boot, which means that when it's completely off, open the lid, starts up automatically, boots up to the login screen in approximately nine and a half to ten seconds. So it's never over ten seconds, which is really good, super quick. And I find that uh, very helpful for when I need to get some papers going for school and stuff, or when I need to look up something. Ease of use. Uh, once again, you know, I'm a pretty technical person. I can adapt myself to any, you know, situation that's got technology in it. That's just who I am. You might be a little different. Um, I don't know. I don't know you. And it, for me, it was really easy to use. If you're not really sure on how to use a Chromebook, uh, I do have a very, very thorough video of how to use one. And just the basic operation and from the very basics and going all the way to the advanced stretch and deep into the OS. So I'll post a link um, on the screen here for that video if you want to take a look. And uh, I'll make it available throughout the whole video. So once the video ends, you can rewind it back a couple of seconds and click on that link to see how it is. Now the operability, I think that might just be a word I made up, but I mean, it sounds pretty legit to me. Once again, uh, operating this is fairly simple it's only it's only weighs like I think it's like two and a half pounds I think so very lightweight uh, very easy on your shoulder if you're carrying it in a uh, messenger bag like how I am I did also a review on that too so if you want to check out the messenger bag I will post a link down in the description and it's been protected since about a week after I bought it uh, excuse me I'm tired so, I mean, it's very easy. And on the battery life, this is <laughs> this is one of the best reasons I love this Chromebook. is because of the battery. Not only does it last six hours, maybe, seven hours on one charge, it also charges full probably with 45 minutes, maybe, to an hour. I mean, this is my only, this is my first laptop that I've had that was new. So, I mean, the charging time might be faster or slower with uh, the newer laptops that are out there so i mean it charges like super quick you don't even like you'll see it at like five percent charge it next thing you know it's at 100 percent. it's pretty ridiculous so that's it for reasons to buy a chromebook and now here are the reasons to not buy a chromebook whoops let's uh damn it so let's uh Let's get this covered up. Kind of made a mistake there when I was doing the first video. Okay, so now the reasons to not buy a Chromebook. Um, you might have heard that Chromebooks are basically an internet-based laptop, which I mean they are. So you might have heard the uh, saying, no internet, no laptop. In a way, that's kind of true. Excuse me. So basically what you can do... Um, when you have no internet access, which I mean could be kind of rare nowadays because everywhere you go there's basically internet connection unless it's like your grandparents house and they don't believe in the internet or something like that. Uh, you can you can work in offline mode, which would mean you can still, you know, listen to music um, if you have the cache downloaded. You can also, you know, look at your videos, photos, edit them. You can also work in offline for Google Docs. PowerPoint, I mean, uh, slides, spreadsheets, and Google Docs. Uh, as far as that, uh, I know you, I think you can still play some games, but I don't think they install it on your hard drive. So you can still do some work, but it's very limited because what, this is a, basically an internet based laptop. So once again, if this fits your needs, then I suggest go ahead and do it. Uh, limited programs. The amount of limited programs that are on here, um, basically you cannot uh, download anything that's not in the Chrome Web Store. All the stuff that's in the Chrome Web Store you can download fine. So I mean there are apps, I'm sure there are apps that are in the Chrome Web Store to fit your needs. Like for iTunes for instance, you can't download iTunes. Uh, you would have to transfer it over to Google Play, which is a free um, 
it's kind of like I, uh, what does it call them? iTunes in a way. You can store up to, I think it's like 500,000 songs for free. I have that myself and I love it. So if it's not in the Chrome Web Store, odds are, odds are you're not able to download it. But I mean, you can always check since uh, all the programs that you can download, going into downloads now, uh, most likely they're all either based on Mac or Windows. Preferably Windows because it's more abundant than Mac is. Um, they all, once you download them, they all end in a .exe file. That is an executable file. It means you click on it and then it opens and runs its installer or whatever. Um, since the Chromebook is basically a Linux-based machine, um, it doesn't really recognize the .exe files. Uh, it recognizes something else. I can't remember what it is now, but you won't be able to open it. I'll just give you an error message. So once again, it's kind of falling back on the limited programs. And um, basically, if it's not in the Chrome Web Store, which, you know, it could be. So give it a shot. Um, if it's not in the Chrome Web Store, you can't really download it. Now, falling on media again, which is, you know, music, pictures, sharing stuff. Um, you would have to be connected to the Internet. I mean, obviously, this, this little Chromebook does have Bluetooth capability. So I'm sure you can share it via Bluetooth. I think I tried it once with my Lumia 920, but I think I think I did something wrong. So it wasn't really connecting right anyways. Uh, so once again, I don't really use Bluetooth a lot. So that would be it for the not to buy section. Uh, the reason the not to buy section is pretty slim lined compared to um, the to buy section is because in my opinion, See, there's my little mistake I did up here. <laughs> In my opinion, um, there's not really a lot of cons for the uh, Chromebook as to compare to reasons why you should buy it. I mean, this is just listing all of the features of the Chromebook and what it has to offer via the Chrome OS. And this right here is all the reasons why you should not buy it. As far as, you know, it's basically similar to why you should buy a Corvette, why you should not buy a Corvette. You should buy a Corvette because it's got an LS engine, it's got, you know, 400 something horsepower. It's a uh, two-seater, goes really fast, super lightweight, you can race on it, um, take it to the track. You know, reasons to not to buy it is because it's fast, payments are expensive. And just, you know, compared to this chunk, compared to like that much of to buy and not to buy same thing with a purse for you ladies out there. Anyways. <clears throat> now, going on to the scenarios. Uh, if you have a scenario, uh, reasons to buy a Chromebook would be, you know, just you want something around the house. Um, just to write emails, browse Facebook, maybe play some games once in a while. Then, uh, you know, a Chromebook would be a good fit for you, in my opinion. <clears throat> so head down to uh, Walmart or I got mine at Best Buy and just play around with it. Now, going on to computer illiterate. People that are computer illiterate don't really understand and know how computers operate. Um, they just want to go on there, do work, and that's it. Other than that, they don't really know how to do anything. Uh, no offense or anything. I didn't mean that in a bad way. But from my job in uh, Geek Squad, it's, uh, I mean, that's what I've seen. Elderly, um, really good for them because if you know you just want to talk to them, see how they're doing. Once again, this is falling back on kind of like the around the house scenario where uh, the elderly just want to you know check the news, check their email, maybe some other websites and stuff, maybe Facebook and videos and photos, and see what the family members have to share about their family. And the last one would be school. Now, I highly suggest this for school because I, I did buy this for school for the main reason. And it has not failed me since. I have not had a problem with it. No viruses, no infections. Does not hang, does not crash, and does not blue screen. As soon as you open it up, you're ready to log in. You log in and you do some work. I mean, it's very easy to operate, very easy to carry around. Once again, I think it's only two and a half pounds. So it's very light on your shoulder uh, when you're carrying it in a messenger bag. Don't even notice it's there. I mean, sometimes I feel like I'm going to forget it. So, going on to the scenarios again of not to buy. Um, people that are power users, 
these people that take full advantage of what a Windows computer or what a Mac computer has to offer. Um, this is not for you because this is a very limited um, amount of things that you can do with this. Once again, you can't download programs. You know, it has to be connected to the internet, stuff like that. You can't save stuff to the hard drive and then work on it later like you can with a Windows or Mac. Gamers uh, do not buy this. You can't play any games on here unless it's Chrome Web Store. Then again, if you are a gamer, you're not looking to spend 250 bucks on a laptop. You want something that's high-end, great graphics, good CPU, RAM, memory, all that stuff. And uh, impulse buyers. Uh, people that just, oh, I feel like going out and buying a laptop today. Oh, it seems like a good deal. Chromebook, hmm, cool. Never heard of this before, but I'll, I'll buy it, you know. And they get home and it's like, wow, this thing can't do crap. Uh, they don't really understand what it is and what it's used for. Uh, photographers, um, people that just want to edit photos, videos, uh, make your photos look pretty good. Uh, you be, I believe you can edit photos. I mean, I've done it before. Um, I was editing um, some pictures for my videos. And I've used internet-based photo editors, and such as Pixlr and some other ones, which turned out pretty cool. Chromebook does have a, a picture editor, but it's, it's very basic in terms of what it can do just very very basic usual stuff so that's uh that's gonna be it guys i hope this video helped you guys out a lot um on your decision to or not to buy one this is uh just making it easier for me to help you guys uh understand what a chromebook is what it does and what it's going to be used for if you're not sure on what kind of scenario I mean if you're not sure on um, your scenario or if you want some reasons again uh, to buy a Chromebook or not to buy one that I didn't list here or if you heard something feel free to drop it down below guys I mean you know <laughs> no uh no restrictions holding you back I mean I'm all for you guys download out uh, and dropping down some comments and I'm more than happy to answer them for you so let me know down below if I helped you guys out at all um, on your decision. If you have any questions, let me know. Check out my social media, guys, um, just to stay up to date on the latest videos I'm putting out. I got a, I got one more coming up soon, and then this one I'm going to edit once I'm done taking this video. should be up within a couple days. And it probably would be up by the time you guys see this, obviously. So, yeah, um, let me know down below if I helped you out. Check out my social media. I have my links down below, Google Plus and Facebook. And also comment, rate, and subscribe this video. Once again, subscribe to keep keep updated on the latest videos I'm putting out. And like this video and let me know how I got how I did, guys. Let me know if I helped you out. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Again, I really appreciate it. And uh, you know, keep up the keep up the views. Monty Ellis V6 out.